Hello everyone, welcome to CrotoFlick. My name is Chad Bradle and today I'd like to do a little Q&A about the Roto Rig. First though, I would like to say, wow, I have been blown away by the response from you guys. It's been pretty awesome and I'm pretty happy with uh, all the great feedback that I've been getting. Uh, hopefully uh, I have seen some of you already build it and uh, so far I've heard you've liked it quite a bit. But for any of you that may have questions regarding the build or what have you, hopefully I'll uh, answer some of that. First up is the brackets, the big brackets that uh, you'd buy at Menards. Um, a couple individuals, and maybe more, but no one said anything, uh, noticed that the SKU that I pointed to on the website, apparently when you go into the store with that same SKU number, it actually directs them to the smaller version of these brackets and uh, their website and in store whether it's at those particular stores or at all stores um, that's something you want to be aware of uh, apparently SKUs don't line up so just make sure you get the bigger version of the bracket um, just so you know this bracket measures at nine inches long and about just a little over five and a half inches on that side so there's two types small one big one get the big one Next up would be the ground clamps. Um, I did have someone say that when they went to put a quarter inch bolt into the end of their ground clamp in this portion right here, that it just kind of went in and didn't thread in properly. And when I kind of looked into it, I noticed that Home Depot, where I purchased this at, actually has two ground clamps with the exact same price and the exact same skew. So this one that I used is uh, a few of them that I used is a Blackburn. And now I point to, a, uh, I believe it's a Halix uh, in the parts, but I believe that's one I've also used as well. So they all should be the same. But in case there is some snafu where the manufacturer changed the thread size on some of these, or maybe they did in the past and they changed it to quarter 20, um, that's something you're gonna be aware of. So my suggestion for that would be if you go to purchase some of these, at least take one of these over to the nuts and bolts aisle, grab a quarter 20 bolt, and just kind of open up the bag and make sure it threads in properly. Just so you don't get home and go, oh, what's going on here, it's not fitting. Um, if that is the case where the cheapest ground clamps they have have a bigger hole, simply figure out what size of hole it is and just switch your nuts and bolts all over to that size, and there you go. Just upgrade to a little bigger size. Now monopods, uh, in my sneak peek video when I released it, uh, apparently you guys rated Amazon uh, with the link that I provided because it was originally $9.99 and it's where I purchased mine. But uh, by the end of that day, it had gone up to $17 and to this day, I think it is still $17. So that's pretty crazy. But anyways, when I released the actual DIY build, I pointed to Walmart. And Walmart on their website has them listed as $9.99 and that is their online price. But what I have found is when you go in the store, it's actually $15. And a couple people have learned that if you just do a site to store where order it for 10 bucks and ship it to their store and they've done this right from their phones while they're in the store, you can get it for the $9.99 price. So there is a, uh, a way to get uh, some $10 monopods if you find yourself stuck getting $15 monopods. Um, another thing about the monopods is the weight. Now, I believe the max weight for these monopods in this, in this particular arrangement would probably be five pounds. Um, we have to keep in mind that we are using the cheapest monopods you can get. So their weight's only gonna be so much. If you buy really good heavy duty monopods, you know, it'd probably hold more weight. But just to be on the safe side, figure five pounds max. Now, if you live in California, apparently you may have found out for some reason or another, it costs like 80 bucks to make this rig. And when I looked into it, I noticed that the ground clamps possibly in California cost like $2 or more, to, more than $2. And plus, for some reason, the pipe foam, which is typically just like a dollar know, like a little over a buck here is for some reason like six or seven dollars there. Um, do you have to use that particular pipe foam? No, you just use it as a handle. So if you want to get some type of cushy material and get it around there, whatever you can use as a 
handle, handle that'll uh, be suitable for you, then by all means, use it. Now, a lot of you around the rest of the world that are not in America are having a hard time finding some of these parts. Um, my best suggestion would be to, for those of you that do find the parts, you know, list where you're at location wise and put it in the description of the build video. I mean, you could put it here in the build video or all the videos, uh, it doesn't really matter to me, but try to, try to list it so that way people in your area can go through the comments, see, you know, what part you're listing and try to list, you know, kind of a skewed uh, dot com address of where the link is. And that way they can find it. And it's a great way to, you know, help share. The last thing I can think of uh, at the moment is the, on the drill diagram, you'll notice that I actually have it uh, measured so that you drill inside of a couple slotted holes. Now, do you have to drill in these slotted holes? Technically not. Um, I drilled just in the end of this hole so I could run a bolt and clamp it to my tripod. But technically, if you were to drill just next to it and then another one next to that one, you could probably do that as well for mounting it to your tripod. For this farther slot, I drilled a hole right dead in the center of it. But if you wanted to, you could actually, when you go to uh, mount this, instead of drilling a hole dead center and running, going with the measurement that I provided on here, you could actually, you know, just kind of look at it, figure out where it is, and drill a little farther up through both brackets. And if you wanted to, you could also add a second bolt point at the bottom. And that would probably help uh, avoid any potential slight twisting um, the reason I'm letting you guys know about this is because I know that when I went to drill the holes in these slots, it's kind of annoying because the drill bit kept getting stuck in it. And maybe some of you have experienced that. So if you don't want to deal with all that uh, annoyingness, that is another option. Or you could use a file, whatever helps you get a uh, quarter 20 bolt through. And yeah, I guess that's everything. Um, if you have any further questions, comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, regarding the build, um, if you have any particular odd questions as far as like additional things you could do to it, um, that's kind of really up to you. So if you think you can make it work, you can go ahead and try and let her, let everyone else, uh, know if it worked for you. Uh, that's always awesome. But Hey, if you build it, send me some pictures. I want to see some pictures. It'd be great to have like a little catalog of everyone's build. Um, but otherwise, Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter. I tend to post things there on upcoming DIYs or possibly little side projects that I'm working on. So if you're curious about those, feel free to follow. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.